Hey everyone, what is up? I hope that you all can see me. Okay, here we go. I hope you all can see me. Um, I'm doing this critical element uh, video uh, live. Um, so hopefully I'll get some uh, folks to join in. But before I get started, guys, um, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please smash that subscribe button, kick the like button on this video and all of my other videos. And don't forget to ring that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload new content, all right? So in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about the critical element steps for this skill, cleans upper or lower denture. Now, this skill does not have any critical element steps, right? So I just want to talk to you of just about a couple, you know, about a couple of steps um, so you can have a better understanding of what those steps are requiring you to do. But before I get started, good morning, Decrecia. I hope I pronounced your name right. Good morning. Uh, but before I get started, I just want to tell y'all, not all of y'all, but some of y'all to stop the madness. Okay, stop the madness. Um, you know, these rude comments, people, come on. These rude comments are uncalled for. Um, and if you are not liking my videos, you're not liking how I present my videos, um, go to another channel, okay? Go to another channel um, to receive, uh, you know, supplemental training um, because I don't need that. I really don't. Um, and the reason why I'm telling you all this is because I received, or I, I don't know exactly when I received it, you know, late last night or early this morning, but I just saw it this morning. And I'm going to be real with y'all, right? I've always been real with you all. Um, if you're going to be rude, if you are going to be rude, don't ask me for help in the same breath, okay? Because from this point forward, from this day forward, if you are rude in any kind of way, if you are disrespectful, um, you know, if you demean my videos, and then in that same breath, in that same breath, you have the audacity to ask a question, to ask for help. From this day forward, I'm not going to respond, okay? If you were smart, if you were smart, what you would do is ask your question first and then wait for a response from me, wait till you get that response and then come back and make your rude comment, right? If you were smart, right? Y'all remember the old saying, right? Never bite the hand that feeds you, right? Well, this is my channel, folks. I am that hand. I am feeding you information that uh, could help you receive a first time pass on your state certification exam or, um, you know, maybe this is your second or third time uh, testing. Um, I am feeding you this information that could help you pass, all right? And to be honest with you, it's only a handful of people, okay? A handful of people that I receive rude comments from and I usually will either mute that person or ban them from my channel altogether. But with this comment, and not just this comment that I saw this morning, um, you know, I try to equate the rudeness with them being nervous, especially if they are testing the same day or maybe, you know, they're testing within, you know, a couple of days. I try to equate that rudeness with them being nervous. And so I go ahead and I respond and, you know, I give, you know, I answer uh, their questions. But guys, I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired of trying to determine whether or not, you know, it's rudeness. I mean, true rudeness or it's just your nerves talking. OK, I'm getting tired because I have to read like the comment, you know, not once, not twice, but sometimes three times to try to, you know, determine, oh, you know what? This person is testing this morning. They're just rude. I mean, they're, no, they're not just rude, but they're nervous. And this is how their comment or how they write their comment is coming off to me. It's coming off to me as being rude. But, you know, I really don't think that they're trying to be rude. I think that they're just nervous, right? So I equate that rudeness to being nervous, all right? But again, I'm getting hot, guys. Okay, but again... Um, 
you know, go to another channel. If you don't like my channel, if you don't appreciate my channel, um, go to another channel. I'm here to tell you, I put a lot of time and effort into making these videos. Um, I'm using my time, my money, my energy, my knowledge to make all these videos and for, you know, some folks to just be rude and then in the same breath, ask for help. Come on, that just don't make sense to me. And, and to be honest, to be honest, and I know I'm venting, but I think I have the right to vent. To be honest, I respect those folks who are rude, make a rude comment or, you know, a, a stupid remark. And yes, stupid, I say stupid because the, the remarks are, right? Make a stupid remark and then that's it, right? They don't ask for help or anything. I have more respect for that person for speaking their mind than for someone to make a rude comment and then in the same breath, ask for help. Who does that? Like really, who does that? I don't, I don't understand, right? So from this day forward, if you do that, um, just know that yes, I am going to ignore you um, and I am not going to respond to your question, okay? Or questions, right? Because a couple of folks have made rude comments about my videos and then asked more than one question. It's like, I don't get it. I really don't get it, right? Um, so yeah, so I, I'm venting this morning because I, you know, I just don't understand. If anybody understands, please tell me, comment, okay? And let me know, okay, if you understand that. Um, but anyways, let's get back to, and, and uh, wait, hold on. And if you, you know, uh, uh, what the comment was about me talking, like I'm talking right now, right? In all my videos, but you've got to understand my channel is a training site channel for nurse aides, okay? And so I'm going to talk, I'm going to give explanations as to what I am doing and why I am doing those things. Any great training video will have explanation, just as when you're in training. You know, I hate to think that you would say, oh my gosh, you know, my instructor is talking too much. Well, they have to, we have to as instructors, so you can gain knowledge and gain a better understanding of how to perform certain skills or how to understand the theory information, right? If we didn't, you'd be lost. Now, in the past, I, I have had people to request me to perform certain skills with no explanation, but they weren't rude about it. Okay, they were not rude or disrespectful about it. And I actually obliged them. I actually did, you know, those videos with no explanations, perform them how I would perform them during training. So if you would like for me to do that, then by all means, you can request it, okay? But just be respectful, okay? Be respectful. Now we're gonna get to Dentia Care. I hope I got my point clear, okay? I hope I got my point clear. Stop, stop, stop the madness, okay? Stop the madness, just stop it, right? There's no no sense, no reason to be like that. Um, so Denture Care has no critical element steps, okay? None. Uh, the steps that I want you to focus on is step number one, step number three, and step number six, okay? That's what I want you to focus on. And wait, there is one more step. Step number one, three, six, and step number nine, okay? One, three, six, and step number nine. Step one requires you to put on gloves, to be wearing gloves before you handle the dentures, okay? Before you handle the dentures. So what I tell my students is, is before you handle those dentures, and handling the dentures is actually taking them out the cup. You're, you're having them in your hand, right? So... What I, or how I train my students to do is to go ahead and set up your area first, right? So I'm gonna set up, I hope you all can see this. I'm gonna set up my area here and I'm going to put all of my supplies. I've laid down, I got a paper towel. I laid down my clean area and I've placed all of my supplies, right? And now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and I'm gonna put 
the liner in the sink, or not yet, hold on, don't put the liner in the sink yet. What I'm gonna do is open, I'm gonna prep my toothbrush, right? So I'm gonna open up my toothbrush, I'm gonna moisten it with the water, and then I'm going to put denture paste. Remember, you have to use actual denture paste or a tube of toothpaste that is labeled denture paste. If you use the regular toothpaste, you will not get credit, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and if you see, I'm gonna get a little closer, okay? If you see, if this toothpaste comes out, there we go. I'm only gonna put a dab of toothpaste. See that small dab? And the reason why I tell my students, all you need is a little bit because a little bit of toothpaste goes a long way. The same with the denture paste, okay? A little bit of denture paste goes all the way. And you don't wanna have a lot when you're you know, cleaning the dentures because it's gonna cake up, it's gonna get caught in the grooves, and then you're gonna be wasting a lot of time trying to get all the toothpaste or denture paste, excuse me, off of the dentures, right? So just a little bit of toothpaste, just this much, okay? That much, all right? So I've prepped, I've prepped my toothbrush. Now what I'm gonna do is put the liner in the sink, okay? Put the liner in the sink. So we haven't did step one yet, okay? Step one is putting on your gloves before you handle the dentures, okay? So I haven't done that yet. So now that I've lined the sink, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my water on to start running the water, okay? Now you can either just line it or pre-fill it with water. I train my students to do both. Go ahead and line it and fill it with water. Now, you, I'm gonna turn on both handles, right? Because my sink, this sink has two handles. If your sink only has one handle, you wanna make sure you turn it into the, to the center setting, okay? One handle, center setting, two handles, just turn on both. And the reason why you wanna do that is because steps three and step six requires you to rinse the dentures in moderate temperature water. Okay, so moderate meaning lukewarm or tepid. Okay, in, in order to get lukewarm or tepid, you have two handles, you have to turn on both. If you have one handle, you need to turn it to the center setting. Okay, that's for step three and six. Now, I'm gonna perform step number one, which is putting on my gloves because now I'm getting ready to handle the dentures, okay? So I put on my gloves. I'm gonna take my dentures. When I remove the lid, I'm going to immediately rinse my lid, okay? Set it back down on the clean area. I'm going to take out my denture, hold it over the sink, pour out the dirty water, rinse, my denture cup and then pre-fill it. Go ahead and pre-fill it with the water. Just make sure you put enough water in here um, so when you put the dentures in, it will cover the dentures, right? Now I'm going to rinse my denture in the moderate temperature water because that's how I have the handle set, okay? Once I do that, now I can commence to cleaning my dentures and you want to make sure that you hold your dentures over the sink and you see it doesn't take long for me to clean the dentures bam i'm done okay i'm done now and as i'm doing this i would actually verbalize i'm cleaning all surfaces of the dentures if you have the bottom dentures i would include um, including the rent or, or the groove or if you have the top dentures including including the roof, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse my toothbrush, and you see I'm still holding the dentures over the sink, rinse my toothbrush, I'm going to place it bristles up, that's step number nine, I believe, bristles up in the basin, and I'm gonna show you that just in just a second, and now I'm going to rinse my dentures With moderate temperature water, I'm going to place the dentures in the denture cup with teeth facing up and then replace my lid. Now I'm going to turn off the water. I'm going to remove the liner. This is the most forgotten step if you place a liner um, to remove the liner. Okay. And then I'm going to remove all of my items off of the clean. The NAE will tell you whether or not 
to leave your supplies here next to the sink or to place them um, on the person's bedside stand or to place them in the designated dirty area, okay? The NAE will tell you. Then I'm going to remove my gloves in a manner that I will not self-contaminate, verbalize washing hands, wait a few seconds, okay, just to go back, you know, just to go back through the steps, how you performed in your mind, and then skill complete, all right? So step number nine, let me double check and make sure that's step number nine. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. No, I'm sorry, that's step number 10. Step number 10, requires you to maintain the clean technique with the toothbrush. So when you place the toothbrush in the basin, you wanna make sure that the bristles are up. You don't wanna have it turned to the side like so, okay, or turned upside down, bristles down. You place it with the bristles up, okay? Bristles are facing up, all right? That's the clean technique. And you do not put anything else in this emesis basin except for the toothbrush. So you don't wanna put the toothpaste in here, okay? All right? And so easy peasy, right? That's it. Um, with denture care, I'm just gonna walk back over here to my desk. Um, so look guys, if y'all have any questions, don't hesitate to ask, okay? But again, if you gonna be rude, <laughs> if you are going to be rude and then ask a question, I'm not gonna answer you. Okay, I'm not going to respond to your rudeness. I won't do it, okay? So um, let me just look at some of these comments here real quick, if I can. And I don't think it's letting me. There we go. Um, good morning. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Decrecia, good morning. Thank you, Decrecia. Hi, Amy. All right, Washington in the house. I'm so glad that my videos are helpful to you all. You're welcome, Darcy. Hey, Katina, no problem. You know what? Every YouTuber has to deal with nonsense. You know, that's just part of, uh, you know, hosting a YouTube channel. I really don't even think twice about it. Um, you know, just letting, you know, just want to let those folks know that again, you know, you make rude comments and then in the same breath, ask for help. No more. Not going to do it anymore. Um, awesome. I'm so glad. Congratulations, Katina. Thank you. Hey, Darcy, good luck. Good luck. I'm so glad. Awesome. I'm so glad that my videos were able to help you with your mock testing. Hopefully you pass your mock test. You're welcome, Amy. Thank you so much. Yeah, Darcy, it can be a little frustrating, but again, like I said, I, you know, I move on. I don't like stagnate. I move on, right? Because I know that my videos are helping thousands, not hundreds, but thousands of people to receive to either receive a first time pass on their state certification exam um, or to, you know, pass their exam if they're taking it for the uh, second or third time. Hi, Azel. I hope I pronounced your name right. All right, congratulations. Yes. Azel, if you are still if you are still with me here, uh, if you could tell me what state you tested in. Um, well, you know, Darcy, that's a good question. Um, I train my students to do, you know, an opening for before every skill because again, the NAE is going to give you specific instructions during testing. He or she may tell you, you know, I need to observe you um, addressing the resident once uh, before your first bedside scale and addressing the resident basically is your opening procedures. Or they may tell you, I need to observe you addressing the resident before each individual skill, or they may not even say anything at all, right? Um, so just know that it is required of you to address uh, the resident or perform your opening procedures before your first bedside skill, but I train my students, um, you know, to as soon as that NAE says your time starts now, go straight to that live person, 
do your opening procedures, um, and then go to wash your hands, do the skill hand hygiene, okay? So um, if you do it like that, um, then that's, you know, fine, you can, or, um, you know, depending on, you know, if you do your, let's say that you had before denture care, um, you had another bedside skill, okay? You completed that skill, you did your clothing, closing procedures. What I would tell that person or the mannequin is that, all right, uh, you know, I'm, I've, you know, finished getting, let's say bed bath. I finished giving you your bed bath. You're going to do your closing procedures. Bed is still in the low safe position. Bed wheels are locked. Um, you know, bed wheels are locked and um, privacy is maintained. Here's your call light or, you know, signaling device. If you need me, call me. Um, I'm going to go uh, wash my hands and then I'm, I'm going to be cleaning your dentures next, right? Washing hands, skill complete. That way you can just go straight to the supply table, grab your supplies for denture care, and then head on over to the sink. Um, and you will not have to do any closing procedures, okay? So as I dem just demonstrated, um, after I you know complete that skill, washing hands, skill complete. Um, and then you can go grab your supplies for your next skill, or you can go back and do opening procedures and then go grab your supplies, right? So whichever way is more convenient uh, and more comfortable for you to do. But again, you have to, all right, North Kakalaki is L tested in, awesome. Um, but again, during testing, you have to uh, give the NAE your undivided attention and you have to actively listen to what he or she is telling you. Nicolene, hi. All right, Nicolene is from Maryland. Thank you so much. Um, the reason why you have to put a liner in the sink, and you don't have to use a paper towel. That's just the most convenient because you're by the sink and the paper towel uh, dispenser is usually by the sink. So you won't have to, you know, uh, collect, you know, uh, more supplies than, um, you know, it's just more convenient. But the reason why um, you either have to line the sink um, you can use a paper towel or a towel um, and, and or pre-fill the sink with water is because the dentures easily crack. So if you were to drop them on that stainless steel sink with no cushion, um, they could break the dentures. Okay, so that is why. That's why you need the, the liner and or um, pre-fill the sink with water or do both. I train my students to do both just to get them into the habit, okay? But don't forget to remove that liner and dispose of it in the waste bin. That is the uh, most forgotten step in this skill. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining in my live stream this morning. If you have not subscribed, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Click the like button on this video and all of my other videos. And if you like to be notified whenever I upload new content, ring that notification bell. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Nicolene. I'm glad I was able to answer your question and glad I was of help. All right, guys. Thanks for listening to me, Vint. Also, I love you guys. Mwah. Ciao. Uh -oh, I'm sorry, guys. Hold on. I saw one more comment pop up. Ah. Oh, Darcy, thank you. Thank you. I will see you all later. Ciao.